male facial hair has seen many trends and fashion fads over the years, with at least one website every year claiming that facial hair is now no longer in fashion. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. Facial hair is always in fashion, and it is more than just a fashion statement. In fact, it's saturated with social cues and determines how a man is perceived by other males and females alike. Moreover, facial hair or beards play a significant role in a man's social and personal life. Beards and mustaches, or male facial hair, plays a vital role in how a man is perceived and what opportunities are made available to him, whether it's socially, personally, or professionally. Different types of facial hair allow men to be perceived as masculine, aggressive, socially and physically mature, and dominant, which consequently affects every single opportunity that is presented from then on. Researchers at Northumbria University performed a study with the purpose of assessing the female perception of male facial hair. This research is considered to be conclusive research on the topic of facial hair and its perception, as it has very few limitations and it was performed such that it proves the point raised by other researchers on the same topic that they could never prove themselves. The study focused on how women perceived different types of beards and what character traits they associated with that type of facial hair. For the purpose of this study, researchers created pictures of 10 clean-shaven men using the Faces software. The Faces software uses a wide database to research and create faces with general and popular features. These pictures were then rated out of 10 by 16 of the female participants, with 1 being unattractive and 10 being extremely attractive. This first round of analysis only focused entirely on the female perception of male facial features and their apparent attractiveness. After the female participants rated these 10 pictures, 3 pictures were found to have similar attractiveness ratings and were chosen to progress to the next phase. In this phase, the remaining 60 female participants were shown the 3 pictures, but each picture was processed to create 5 different pictures. Pictures of the same face were altered to have a clean shaven appearance, light stubble, heavy stubble, light beard and full beard. This resulted in a total of 15 pictures that were shown to women participating in the study. According to the results of this study, most women found men with light beards and full beards to be masculine, aggressive and older than those with light stubble or clean shaven appearance. It is important to note that although masculinity is a trait often sought after in social situations, too much of it can be off-putting. This was found to be the case in this particular study. However, they associated these men to be more socially mature than those with a clean shaven or light stubble beard which is a positive trait to have in social relationships. This group of males had both positive and negatives, but the negative traits outweighed the positive, resulting in women rating them as least attractive. In fact, most of the females perceived the younger looking male and those with light stubble or heavy stubble to be more attractive. If you're enjoying the video so far, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help us out. We put out frequent content on facial aesthetics and psychological research, so if that's your thing, then this is the channel for you. If you do so, we'll give you this. It is important to mention that these ratings of attractiveness and the perception of women were affected by the social norms surrounding male facial hair. Up until the level of heavy stubble, male facial hair may be perceived as a sign of social maturity, intelligence and respectability. However, higher levels of facial hair may point towards non-conformity, shabbiness and a general disregard of social norms. A full beard that is not maintained or trimmed further exaggerates these perspectives and can result in women finding even the most attractive facial features unattractive as a result of that beard. All of these combined with the drastic difference in social norms and their effects on facial attractiveness based on levels of facial hair may affect women's perceptions and their attractiveness ratings. This is especially apparent when considering facial hair in different cultures and how women of different cultures respond to the levels of facial hair. For example, Caucasian young adults with clean shaven or light stubble may be considered to be attractive, whereas Middle Eastern young men would require at least heavy stubble or light beard to be considered attractive. If we consider this graph in more detail, taken from an Australian study in 2013, we can see that facial hair on a man can subconsciously impact a variety of socially relevant judgments. There are obviously socially relevant criteria that facial hair can impact, such as the perceived masculinity of a face. As facial hair is seen as a sexually dimorphic feature, it makes sense that greater amounts of facial hair increase the mean rating of an individual's masculinity. 
Just to recall, sexual dimorphism refers to any feature that is different for men and women. You can learn more about that with specific reference to facial hair in this video. In this case, the fact that most men can grow facial hair and most women cannot means that facial hair is a sexually dimorphic feature. Looking back at the graphs, we can see that facial hair has a more convoluted relationship to the perceived health of an individual, with females represented through the white bars and males through the dark ones. It is seen that a full beard is also a very strong indicator of health. This may be due to the fact that facial hair signifies continual growth, and for the most part, continual growth represents health. Also, beard growth is linked to prostate growth, which grows larger in men as they age. The same hormones that make your hair miniaturize are the ones that make your beard grow stronger. Perhaps the most surprising correlation is that a full beard correlates to the greatest perceived parenting ability. This means that daddy issues are very real. <laughs> that, is, that is not what it means. This may have its roots in a beard signifying maturity and also may be intercorrelated to the fact that facial hair signals masculinity. So, in short, women preferred males who could grow a beard as their partners as it indicated physical maturity, but did not prefer men who had full beards as that just pointed towards older age. There are a small niche of women that would be into that, but the vast majority were not. This pattern was also seen when female participants were asked to choose amongst the 15 pictures for who they would prefer for both long and short term relationships. While the women preferred those with light stubble and heavy stubble, they tended to steer clear of anyone with a full beard or a clean shave, in other words, either end of the extreme spectrum. This provides further proof that although women prefer a physically mature male, they're not big fans of men who are too old. Unless you're Leo DiCaprio, in which case, age magically becomes just a number. An important thing to note from this takeaway is that although the participants in this study associated the pictures of men with full beards and old age, and pictures of men with light stubble and heavy stubble with prime age, the actual age gap between these pictures is not as severe, but rather just a moderate age gap of four to five years. But female perception tells a different story completely, so it is all about how you're perceived rather than how you look. For the 1% of this channel who are older men, if you can look younger, then you are younger. To leave you guys with the final word on facial hair, it is very important for the positive perception by both men and women, both socially and sexually. However, the type of facial hair makes all the difference between long and short term relationship success. A light to heavy stubble indicating a man's ability to grow a beard is the perfect amount of facial hair for men to be perceived as most attractive, masculine enough and socially mature enough as an individual who would make for a great long term and short term partner. This is the part of the video, like every other video, where I'm going to tell you why you should get a Coov's Aesthetics Report. Remember that part of the video where I said if you look younger, you are younger? It is all about perception, and so in our Aesthetics Report, we can help you identify the key flaws that are making you look older or disproportionately out of shape, and how you can address them with our team of doctors, dentists, and now cosmeticians who can help you address these flaws. In regards to beard growth, it is very important that not only do you have the right amount of beard, but you also have the right thickness and density, which is also something that we can help you with through recommendations for topical and non-topical agents that you can use to stimulate beard growth, their potential side effects, and what you should be talking to your general practitioner about.